Before his death, former President Lyndon B. Johnson gave a three-hour filmed interview to a well-known television commentator. On May 2, 1970, when this interview was shown on a national television network, it included a message that certain material had been deleted at President Johnson's insistence. It has been revealed that in the censored section, Johnson had expressed misgivings about the finding that Lee Harvey Oswald had acted alone, and that in fact, he suspected that a conspiracy had been involved in the assassination of John F. Kennedy. Thank you for tuning in to another one of my videos. My name is Cliff, and I'm here to speak out against what's going on around the world. I'm going to call this series of videos that I'm doing um, 99 Problems But My God Ain't One. And, and I guess this is number 99, and I'm going to work my way backwards to number 1. I'm sure... Uh, I can figure out uh, enough topics, uh, nearly a hundred, over a hundred topics to talk about, and be specific about each and in the, each different problem, what's going on, in, or what's going wrong with the world. Okay, uh, the first and main thing, um, I think it's above all. The, the the main problem with the what's going on with the whole world is is confusion. This is the biggest uh, mystical of everything is confusion and and confusion can come in any different walk of life, every different facet of our lives. Confusion about how we care for one another, confusion about our medical system uh, and your health, confusion about our, our governments and how they protect us, or confusion in our education system and how we, we teach our children, and confusion about our religion and confusion about uh, our our god uh there there's all kinds of confusion in in that realm but the main thing is is confusion we are meant to be confused we are meant on on a, a whole global scale we are meant to be uh, mixed up about everything. Everything. It, the more you can be mixed up, the better for um, <laughs> the enemy, the evil, and Satan. The the more he can keep you preoccupied with trying to figure out uh, your coming and going. Uh, you will never ever have the need to look towards uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and figure out that there is uh, a dominant negative force in the world which is himself, uh, Satan. And <laughs> there's, everybody knows the saying, or well, most know the saying, that uh, the greatest trick that the devil ever pulled was to make everybody believe that he did not exist. So, confusion is the thing that he uses to do all these things. Um, I'm going to break down uh, the confusion uh, spectrum of the world with uh, uh, other 98 uh, problems.
White out. Heavy, G. That nigga, man. I don't give exclusives out a lot, man. But that nigga dropped heavy, so I gotta give it to him, man. Gonna be dropping. Drop that. How we rock the mics, rock, rock. How we rock the mics, rock, 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 rock. How we rock the mics. I apologize for songs that I'm putting out. I thought my foot was in the door, but really my foot was out. They pushed it out, so the balance shit that I could spit. I slide you with hidden gem, the skies of the shit. They watching me. I'm in the same lane as pocket B, except I'm like Socrates. Sick hypocrisies, hypocrisy. Your eyes still closed, it's shocking me. But there's no stopping me. I guess that's pocket me. The same niggas that keep telling you ball out is the same niggas that hit the deck and crawl out. You need a leader to pull a heater, go all out. Yeah, you won't believe them until you're bleeding in your house. Uh -huh. And it will be a shot to do it. Shot to Except do it. it won't be a thug, it'll be a cop to do it. Hold up, stop the music. Wow. You Fred Sanford, I'm Fred Hampton. For my rebels without a course, they go the next anthem. Ransom, DJ young, White black, out. and handsome with handguns. We losing the youth because we don't really understand them. Damn, son, why we up in these clubs and still dancing? They devising a plan to get us all hanged, son. Damn. I play a part in it, part and I'm ashamed of it. Shame I get involved in it, I feel the pain from it, but I'd be goddamned if I get the blame for it. All I do is strike up a track and put a flame to it. I'm not at all naive, though. I know the words I speak could help letting them streets know. But Pete, though, one of my ex bunkies was Big Tower, but he go hit him with that Rico just because he wouldn't speak, though. For 10 years, he can't see his little man feet grow. The past can't change, the history just repeats, bro. Shit is evident, you can see the evidence. Black, white, or Asian, never listen to a president. Never listen Whoa, to him. my be a little too deformed, deformed. But I still gotta speak to him. Only a couple families run this world, y'all. Black president, right? It's absurd, dog. No class at all. How they try and pass it off? I can care less if the dude can dribble a basketball. The same song that kill us and we remain calm. Flame arms, I end up like the parents of Trayvon. David Dyke, William Cooper, I'm still a shooter. A war is coming, my nigga. We need the realest troopers. Troopers. Yeah, yeah. A war is coming, my nigga, time for a revolution. Boy, I'm not the new nobody, I'm the old me, nigga, duffel bag ran. I'll punch your heart out. George Christian shortly thereafter. Uh, George Christian was Johnson's well, press secretary. He perhaps remember him. And became sec press secretary for Governor Conway, who was our head of Democrats for Nixon. We were meeting in the Orwell office, and uh, I uh, saw the morning news report, and I just happened casually to mention to George. He says, well, I'll bet you that, uh, uh, that President Johnson is uh, going to be real pleased uh, when he finds that now they're calling me the number one bomber. George Christian said, oh, don't be too sure. He said, you know, LBJ, he never likes to be number two. <laughs> 